welcome back to today's video. So excited to have you here. I am sitting in my closet and we're gonna talk about all things rodeo. For those of you who don't know, I live in Houston, Texas and we are in the middle of rodeo and rodeo is a full month long. Think all things cowboys and Western and funnel cake and barbecue and horses and country music, you name it, we've probably got it. Although the rodeo is currently going on here in Houston, Texas, I think it's Austin next month and then maybe Dallas. I'm not really sure of the timeline there, but rodeo season is generally in the spring or right before spring season. Anyways, I did a blog post on rodeo outfits, ideas, and inspiration, and I wanted to actually sit down here a little bit, kind of chit chat, talk about how to really ba make any outfit, like a t-shirt and jeans rodeo ready. I understand that you probably don't want to go out and buy a new dress, a whole new outfit and you maybe you know you want to buy boots but you don't want to buy a full look i think really with the right accessories you can take any outfit and make it rodeo ready and when i mean by rodeo ready i'm not talking about like your classic western typical like wannabe cowboy outfit i'm talking about like chic a little bit of edgy a little bit more modernized of a rodeo inspired outfit that is the longest intro ever also by the way but for those of you who are tuning in for the first time welcome i am ellie brown from uptown with ellie brown so excited to have you here today we're just gonna go straight into today's video let's just jump straight straight in shall we yeehaw <laughs> Okay, like I said, it's full on rodeo season here and I'm gonna link the blog post down below where I did your not so average rodeo looks. I'm gonna also put here on, on one of the, the, the sides here, just a video so you can kind of see visually what I'm talking about. You can also go to the blog post where you'll see all of the pictures and you'll see links to everything that you can go and shop the looks if you want. Um, so that's down below as well. Ideally, really like for example, I've got, a t-shirt and jeans. This would look no different. Making this rodeo ready, all I did was add a wide brim hat. A note on the hats here, I have several hats. I think the hats that look the best are the hats that have a very, um, that they're not the floppy hats. They have a stiff brim all the way around. I think these are the best kind of hats to have. They hold their shape. They're very chic, modern. Um, it elevates the look. It doesn't even have to be like a cowboy hat. It doesn't have to have the Western detail here. So like this is another great hat. A lot of my hats, I have a pretty good hat collection here. I love hats. I personally love buying my hats from Gigi Pip or Lack of Color. And a hat you can wear multiple ways all season long or all year long in different seasons and it's just a great accessory to have. Now I will say this, if you really don't want to buy anything at all, I would highly recommend Rent the Runway. I've worked with, with them separately several times. I really love the concept. Even for casual weekends or vacations or whatever it is, it is a great subscription to have if you wanted to rent something. I think that's also a really good option. You know, let's say you want to wear a dress for the rodeo but you don't want to again you don't want to buy it but you really want to wear something new i think rent the runway is a great option to to have something to kind of have in your back pocket okay accessory i don't know why i just snapped accessory number two that you could have and that you could buy yourself to make it rodeo ready is one of the pieces that i'm also wearing is a bandana now this bandana specifically is a bandana that i recently found from a local store small shop here in houston i fell in love with her bandanas i think this is so fun i love the fringe um the fringe detail here. I got this black one from her little pop-up that she had over the weekend. And then I also bought this pink one and this pink one has a beautiful print with also the little fringe detail here. I 
freaking love this and the quality on this i'll link her shop and her instagram down below that you can shop if you want but i wanted to make sure to give her a little shout out here because i really love her pieces i think they're very unique really fun for the rodeo and if it's a little bit chillier and you need you know some more layers you can throw on the leather jacket you can throw on a denim top to kind of complete that western look so many different options but i think bandanas are a great way to make any outfits rodeo ready you'll see here another way of like you can take a slip dress and add a bandana i have also got tons of bandanas i uh recently found out about hemlock what's the uh the, the brand here i'm going to show you i will also link them down below i recently got several of their bandanas i got this one i got this little pattern floral one over here i also got this black and white one that's really cute but they also have some really good bandanas if you want with the tons of different patterns and prints and styles that you can also choose madewell also has some really nice um and cute bandanas that i have a bandana is a great way to really just kind of make any little outfit rodeo ready really and then lastly obviously that, that i think is maybe the the star piece of the outfit to make any of your outfits rodeo ready would be your western boots now i bought these from steve madden and these have been my absolute favorite i love these these are so comfortable as well i have worn these so many ways in different ways with different outfits i love love these i also bought these from jeffrey campbell and these are in a obviously a lighter shade i have not worn this one as much as i would like i don't really know why i just feel like because of the color i think it, it tends to wash out some of the outfits versus the black one is just a more versatile pair that really can be paired and worn and just with so many different outfits and looks and, and and whatnot i also like the boots that are a little bit higher up i am not a huge fan personally of ankle boots and booties those are just not not my style particularly i have these over here that i bought a few years ago and i also i do love these these are pink these are from sam edelman I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't even make this style anymore. The only problem on this one is this tears up my ankle and gives me all sorts of blisters around my ankle. So I don't reach for this one as much as I would like. I did order actually a brown pair because I realized I didn't have a brown a western boot that i could style and share with you so i ordered one off of nordstrom i will link it down below if you want to take a look at it the only problem is i feel like most western boots if you're going to get something that's a pretty good quality with a good leather you're looking to spend at least over 150 dollars honestly if this style is not for you i wouldn't spend the money like unless you're going to get a really good a good amount of wear and the cost per wear for the boot it makes sense for you i again this is just you know i don't think it, it's a you know like you have to make sure it's actually beneficial for you to go and buy western boots and drop that kind of money if you're really going to wear it like don't go out and buy western boots just for a one night event i just don't think that's personally smart now again which is why i if if i were to recommend any of them and if you you're like okay i really really love these i think i could wear this multiple ways even after the rodeo season i would recommend a black boot like this um the western boot look overall is very trendy right now um but i think these can be worn i mean my thing is also i i live in texas and so I know I will get a lot more use out of these versus, you know, someone who maybe doesn't live in the South. And unless this isn't like your style or your vibe, again, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't wear this. I actually kind of like doing these videos also, so I know in my closet, because I feel like I can just pull things from everywhere and show you. The only thing is obviously it's not a big space. Anyways, that's just a few of my tips and like maybe just some key pieces that I think you could make work for what you currently have in your closet and maybe just some accessories and pieces that you could buy if you wanted to to kind of make a rodeo ready outfit without again making it full on rodeo 
wannabe cowboy type thing. But comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. What do you think? Make sure you check out the blog post where you can see more outfit ideas and pictures along with links and some more tips. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you here again in next video. I wanna be like, yeah, um, but I'm not, I'm not that country. <laughs> see you here again soon, bye.